you know what the thing is though what i find alarming about the situation is everybody knows what you're saying lebron when you're calling a white woman courtside karen i mean when lebron james literally vilified that woman by calling her a racist and bigot to the entire world inciting a situation online that's my opinion because if if she did say a racist slant during that altercation Bet your ass LeBron James during that post-game interview would have said that. But he didn't. He said, I didn't feel like it justified an ejection. And the thing is, you're going to hear a lot of crowd right, noise. I got it, you guys. you're in a middle pandemic. So I, roll the clip, Maria. I'm okay, let's hear that it. clip because you got to see this. I had to go back in and find okay, it. Okay, good. Thank right, you, Marissa, you I appreciate right. it. Roll LeBron James looked at my husband during the game and cussed him out. And I stood up and I go, don't fucking talk to my husband. Talk to my husband one more time and I will fuck you up. And he started fighting with me. He goes, shut your mouth, dumb bitch. And I go, you shut your fucking mouth, bitch. No, at the end of the day, that's... Uh... I'm happy fans are back in the building. I miss that interaction. I need that interaction. We as players need that interaction. I don't feel like it was warranted to be kicked out. Um, there was a, 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 you know, a back and forth between two grown you, you men. You can see the smirk on his face. He's laughing about it. He's justifying that it didn't uh, warrant an ejection. But you know what? This alarms me though, because I was literally seeing tweets all over the place when this this whole altercation went viral, and literally. There was a person of color that went viral for this tweet saying, on the first day of Black History Month, LeBron James has a white woman apologizing for acting like a courtside Karen. Okay, so I just want to jump in on this because I, I know Kevin says it. I find it interesting that Karen, the connotation behind Karen has evolved. So it first started off with that like yeah. <laughs> that mom, you know, the mom with the minivan with that short, weird haircut yelling yeah. at managers because their cheese was cold or, or they the had bird this, washer right? in New York. And then, it, <laughs> and then it turned into racism. A white yeah. person calling the cops against someone of color and making uh, the woman tackling that poor got kid who was like 17 or 14 who thought she stole his phone because right. he's black. So then, but now it's turned to any light-skinned woman because it's also been women who are not white but of lighter skin complexions complaining about anything and opening their mouth. So now, yeah. like, I literally can never again complain at all about anything. I don't <laughs> well, care what it is. Well, Marissa, I think you're hitting right on the nose. I mean, why do you think the woman immediately the next day put out an apology video? Had to. She just got vilified to the whole world that she's a bigot and racist who's I dating mean, you, a six-year-old man, point. which has, who gives a shit? I mean, there's always a bunch of young people that are old. No, I do want to piggyback off what you said earlier. LeBron James is a very powerful man. He's got a lot of followers, so he has to choose his words carefully and how he says things. And sometimes I think he speaks without really thinking it through what he's saying. And, you know, that's LeBron. I mean, he, yeah, you he's think? free I to mean, speak how he wants to, but <laughs> he may he may interpret it one way, but his millions of fans might interpret it another way. And like you said, you know, it could come off like he's villainizing her. Like, I get it. He's called her a courtside care, just insulting her, but – we could take she's, that as, as I'm many of ways. Though, she still is a privileged little you-know-what. Oh, I agree. She was able to go to a courtside game. I can't go there because I don't got millions of dollars. And I, I'm like, that just doesn't, shut but, up. That's, but that shouldn't even be weighed into the whole overall discussion. That, that, that just <laughs> sounds so dumb. But I, my whole thing is, LeBron James, take the higher ground, brother. Like, this is... <laughs>